Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's yet another day that the Lord has made. And we always rejoice and be glad in it. It's a privilege to sleep and wake up to see another day. Hence, we are indeed grateful for this privilege that we have received this day. Welcome you all to this morning devotion of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, the Daily Fountain. Today is Friday, May 19, 2023. We are having a topic before us, the Day of the Lord. Hmm. The Day of the Lord. Let us pray. Precious Father, we want to thank you for yet another privilege to sleep and wake up. Even as we go through your word this morning, it is our earnest prayer and desire that you will unveil the truth about your word unto us, that your word will light up our heart for the day that is ahead of us. May we see ourselves from your word, and may your word impart our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Once again, our topic today is the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. And our text is Second Thessalonians chapter 2 from verses 1 through 17. The letter of Apostle Paul to the Thessalonians, the second chapter, reading from verses 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letters as from us, as that day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by enemies, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God. All that is worship, so that he as God seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember, ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what withholded that he might be revealed in his time. For the misery of iniquity do already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume 
with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all powers and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved and for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because God has from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. We are unto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or our epistles. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God even our Father, which has loved us and has given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace, comfort your heart and establish you in every good word and work. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Once again, the topic before us this morning is the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. What do we mean when we say the day of the Lord? The day of the Lord refers to when Jesus will come to gather the saints to himself. The day that Jesus will come to gather the saints unto himself. There is this song we do sing. He's coming back again. Our Lord is coming back again. He went away and promised that he's coming back again. He's coming back again. Our Lord is coming back again. Oh glory. Hallelujah. Is coming back again. Brethren, why Jesus was on earth? He said, He will go and prepare a place for us. And He will come back and take us unto Himself. That day that he will come to take the saint unto himself is the day of the Lord. And this day will not come until some event come to pass. Until there are some things that will be played out. In Matthew 24, reading from verses 1 following, on one occasion the disciple of Jesus Christ asked him, Master, tell us what shall be the signs of the end? What shall be the signs of your coming? And he told them a lot of things. A lot of signs that shall come to pass. 
of which some of these signs, some of these events, will be looking at them, considering them, to let us know whether the day of the Lord is near or not. Looking at our text, from verse 4 to 3 to verse 4, we were made to understand that there will be a revelation of the man of lawlessness who will seek to be worshipped as God. This man of lawlessness, this man will tend to present himself as God, will tend to enthrone himself. He will desire people to worship him as God. This man of lawlessness will tend to deceive people unto believing that he is the Lord, that he is the God, that he is the one in charge, that he is the one taking place, the place of God. We also saw as evident in verse 9 of that same chapter 2 of 2 Thessalonians that there will be these great manifestations of this lawlessness that will be accompanied by powers, signs, and lying wonders. Why will these things be coming? Why will these powers be manifested? Why will these signs be displayed? Why will these wonders be worked? It is just to deceive people. These are some of the signs that we should know that the day of the Lord is at hand. You will see signs, wonders, different types of magic, all in the names of miracle will be worked. All these are done just to make sure people are deceived from the truth of God's word. The word of God said, when you see these things, know that the day of the Lord is near. Another thing that you will see, see in that passage you have read is that there will be a falling away of people into errors. People shall fall from the truth of the word of God. They will see the truth of God's word as burdensome. They will see the truth of God's word as starting. They will see it as old school. They will see the truth of God's word as not in vogue, as nothing that we should carry out in the present day because they have been deceived into error. They have been deceived to fall away from the truth unto lies. And also, there will be this increase in sinful lifestyle. There will be this increase in hunger for sinful lifestyle. People will desire to do what is evil than to do what is good. These are some of the events that will precede the day of the Lord. Unrighteousness will become the order of the day. 
people will be comfortable in living life of unrighteousness. Even though they are in source, they will be comfortable in living in sin because many have been deceived from the truth. This lawless man will even present himself as a priest. We put on color. We march the pulpit. We make sacrifice in the altar. All is just to deceive people from the truth. Just to make people fall away into errors. So, on righteousness, sinful lifestyle will be decorated, painted, and presented as a way of life. As opposed to the scripture, they will be happy and smiling in doing what is evil. These are some of the events that will precede the great day of the Lord. Strong delusion shall be sent by God upon those who choose to believe the lying wonders of the enemy rather than the simple truth of God's word. As recorded in verse 10 and 11 of that same chapter 2 of 2 Thessalonians, God will send for this great delusion to be upon as many that will believe these lying wonders, this false miracle, this false signs and wonders that are engineered by this lawless man just to deceive people from the truth. What a great warning the scripture is presented to us this morning. That we should be careful. Hence, this great delusion this great condemnation, this great anger of God, this great wrath of God, before it fall on us. Let's be careful not to be carried away with this lawless man, with its lying wonders, with its lying signs. With it, false powers, does to deceive people out of the will of God. Beloved, you can bear me witness that some, almost if not all these signs that are mentioned here in this passage, if not all, majority of these signs today are being seen in reality. We now see people who pretend to be ministers of God using the scripture and the altar of God to sign for money from people, arranging false miracles, making people to pretend that they are sick and as they are laying hand of hand that they have received healing. This should tell us that the day of the Lord is near. We see today that people prefer to do what is evil rather than to do what is good. Some evil say it is more easier to do evil than to do good. There is this kind of joy in people now that they can now even go as far as kidnapping a pregnant woman 
tearing the, 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 the tummy of the woman and bringing out the photos of that uh, pregnancy and pounding it in a mortar, those to acquire weight, those to acquire power. Some for political positions, they go as far as doing all sorts of evil without any element of guilty conscience. Without any element of being sober and sorry, they smile this day in doing what is evil. This should tell us that the day of the Lord is near. And Jesus Christ said to the disciples, When you see this sign, know that the day is at hand. When you see this sign, know that the Lord's day is near. When you see this thing being manifested, know that the day of the Lord is at hand. In Matthew, we are told that there will be rumors of war, that there will be earthquake. The father will be against children, children against father, nations against nation. It is no longer news if you watch the world news, you will see different kinds of wars, battle, crisis, rioting happening all over the world. It should make us know, it should remind us. It should notify us that the day of the Lord is near. Many of these events, such as this wanton lawlessness, robbery, sexual promiscuity, murder, kidnapping, and what have you, are happening in our today's world. And these things are being done with impunity. Just like I've explained before, people are doing this with boldness. People are doing this with full joy. They enjoy eating the flesh of human. They enjoy drinking the blood of their fellow human. And Jesus Christ said, when you see these things happen, remember that the day of the Lord is near. And in the message of prophet Zephaniah, in Zephaniah chapter 1 verses 14, he cried and said, the day of the Lord is near. The day is near. And is drawing near greatly. Brothers and sisters, the day of the Lord is at hand. If the trumpet sound now, if Jesus comes today, will you be among the saints that he shall gather unto himself? God is reminding us through his word this morning that the day of the Lord is at hand. You know in your heart, I know in my heart that if he will come today, that if I may go with him or not. Therefore, beloved, I charge you this morning that you will surrender totally unto him so that when he will come, you will be caught up with him. You will be gathered among the saints whom he shall take unto his kingdom. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word that has come unto us this morning. It is our earnest prayer and desire that we should be careful to observe, to know that your day is at hand and help us to live righteously awaiting your coming so that we 
can be among the sin that will be gathered unto himself, that will be taken to his kingdom. This is a humble prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Have a great day. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.